welcome to Dotting with Diamonds. My name is Em, and welcome back to another post review! Yay! So, <laughs> this is a long time coming. I'm so sorry, this camera arm is legit terrible. I need to invest in a new one. It, like, the slightest movement, it starts shaking. So I, I apologize. It's very flimsy. Just wanna let you guys know. So, I am so excited to finally be sitting down and talking about this canvas with you guys. This is an amazing canvas. If you don't know what a post review is, you've never seen a post review before or heard of one, um, it's when I finish or anyone finishes a diamond painting and then we sit and we talk about the diamond painting um, and my experience with it. And I do want to put a little disclaimer out there that um, what I say might come off as a little nitpicky depending on the painting that I finish. Um, but these are strictly my opinions. You might have a totally different opinion and that's okay. I just wanted to let you know my experience with a kit, um, how I liked working on a kit, how the drill quality was, and that's basically it. And that's the little disclaimer. Also, my AC is running and the fan is really loud. So <laughs> there you go. So we are doing a review of The Old Shoe House by Dominic Davison from Diamond Art Club. This is a 105 by 70 centimeter canvas. This is a massive canvas. It is humongous and it is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at it through my camera right now and it's just so, it looks incredible. The camera doesn't even do it justice. It, it will never. It's just so vibrant. Um, and when I first started this, I really thought that it would top um, so many books so little time, which is also by Diamond Art Club. It is a Randall Spangler. It is my all-time favorite diamond painting for many reasons, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite get there. Not, not quite. Um, just because nothing will ever top that, but it, it's close. It's a very close second. Uh, I loved the shading in this painting. Oh my goodness. Shading is everything. The diamond painting has a lot of confetti. It has a lot of detail. Um, I mean, a painting can have a lot of detail but not be uh, totally coherent, meaning like the image isn't totally clear, but when it has a lot of confetti um, that are similar in color, that are close together, usually that's shading. So oh, it's just so, so beautiful. It just gives it an extra oomph. Like, oh, because some, some canvases really, really lack that. Um, I did a post review on Crazy Cat Lady. I will link that in the eye so you can check it out after this video. And it was like, oh, it was like, it is such a large painting, but it just looks flat because there's no, there's no shading. There's no detail in that painting. So it doesn't pop out of the canvas like a picture this, like this does. It just doesn't. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, as far as imagery goes, coming back to so many books a little time, uh, cause I will be comparing that one to, <laughs> I will be comparing that one to this one a lot. Um, as far as the image goes and how much I love the image, I think this one tops it. Um, but as far as the enjoyment level of actually completing the kit, so many books a little time takes the cake. Um, I just love this image so much. The water is my favorite part about this kit because it just looks so real. It's unbelievable. That's actually what sold me on this kit was I saw a finished painting and the water just looked, I'm like, I have to have this. <laughs> and I love fantasy images. So there you go. So this was most, I'm reading like off notes, by the way, <laughs> in case you're like, what is she skipping around? Like her thoughts are not linked together because I'm literally, <laughs> literally reading off notes. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, this canvas was mostly color blocking confetti. So what that means is it's sections with a lot of color changes, but there's a lot of those colors. So like it wasn't totally like two colors of one drill and then I had to switch consistently. It wasn't like that, but it was a lot of color switches, but just a lot of those colors in one area. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> But there were, there were major confetti in the flowers and in the mushrooms. And I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see the canvas in all its glory, of course, at the end of the video. Um, 
also in the trees up top by where the shoe is. Again, I'm so sorry for the shaking arm. By where the, um, by where the old shoe house is in the trees and in that tree, um, bark over there, that was a lot of confetti. Um, and the grass down here, the grass actually wasn't so bad, it's the flowers. It's the flowers by the mushrooms that were, like, 10,000 different colors. It's the trees over there at the top that were a lot of different colors, like, just so confetti heavy. But the most color blocking was in the sky, which is good, and the water wasn't terrible either. That was actually, like, a decent amount of color blocking confetti. So that wasn't too bad. I'm sorry if I sound congested. I do have a little bit of a cold. I was a little run down after coming home from Florida, but I'm all right. Um, okay, so as far as my leftover drills, I had a decent amount. I honestly thought I was going to run out of a color at one point. Which one was it? I think it was, I think it was 775, but look, I have plenty. I have plenty of that. Um, but I think what makes me so nervous is that, I don't know, I ran out of a color once before, or I'm constantly feeling like I'm gonna run out of colors for some reason. I don't know why, but I didn't. I have, I have literally plenty of leftover drills. It's kind of hard to see because they're in my Tic Tac containers, but there were plenty. There were plenty left over. And as far as trash goes, it wasn't too bad. This was the extent of my trash in this ginormous painting, which is like about what you'd expect from a painting this size. Um, this is not a newer kit from Diamond Art Club. So when there was 310, even though there wasn't a lot of 310 in here, there was a decent amount of trash um, in that. And then in a lot of, actually, I don't really see much green trash in here, but I felt like there was a decent amount of the green that had trash in it. But maybe not, because I don't really see much green. Um, but it's, it was kind of like all over, all over the place, the, um, the trash drills. So it wasn't like secluded to one color. I really took my time with this canvas. Um, it took me about, about a month to complete it. I want to say like 32 days. I don't remember exactly. I didn't write down. I didn't write it down how long this painting took me because I'm a silly goose, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Because I took my time with it, I didn't get burnt out on it. Um, unlike Spirit of Flight, which is sitting in the corner over there, just neglected. I literally have a row left of that painting and I just, I'm like, ugh, I really, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. I just was speeding through, I was speedy Gonzalez trying to get through that painting and I just burnt myself out on it. I'll finish it eventually, but not at the moment. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a kit every person who diamond paints should experience. This, this video of this kit does not do it justice at all. This is a kit you have to see for yourself in person to truly appreciate it because it is like, it, it's absolutely incredible. It's one of my favorite kits. It will, I, I'm planning on hanging it up um, I'm planning on using two poster hangers um, to hold the weight of it because I'm not getting a custom frame of this. I looked into it and it's like over $100 to get a custom frame for this canvas. No, thank you. Um, however, however, this is probably one of the most expensive canvases that I own. Um, I believe it this canvas on Diamond Art Club's website is $79.99. So if you have those points, this is a good painting to use those points on or the 20% off coupon. Uh, you will get free shipping with it though, so that's good. Spirit of Flight. Spirit of Flight is actually a centimeter larger than this painting, but that painting's only $74.99, which is interesting. I'm not entirely sure why that one is cheaper than this one. While this one is a centimeter smaller than that one, I don't know. Anyway, this might actually be the most expensive painting on Diamond Art Club's website that they have sold so far. But as far as cons, I have to be honest, I really didn't have anything. I love those ducks. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring you guys down because there's a bit of a glare um, from the diamonds, but there are two ducks in that pond over there and they are the cutest thing. They're so cute. Uh, I also loved the mushrooms. They're so colorful. 
love them so much the little castle the rainbow this whole like section over here is my favorite like I'm not even like I mean I love the old shoe house it's adorable but I love like this part here I just love like how it looks and the two duckies over there they're so cute but cons I didn't I didn't really have any issues with this kit at all like yes there was a few trash drills but there's always gonna be trash um there was not a whole lot of ab's in this kit ab stands for aurora borealis it, it's like an embellishment to your painting it just adds a little bit of extra sparkle they've got a special coating on them um there wasn't a whole lot of that in this kit but honestly with how it looks and how it's rendered it really seriously does not need it i mean you can always add your own ab's if that's what you're partial to but i really genuinely do not think that this kit needed more ABs than it had. It, it had three ABs and they're kind of just spread out everywhere. Um, but y'all, I think that is it. I really think that is all for this canvas. I'm gonna bring you guys down to take like a closer look at it so you can see all the details. Um, but other than that, I had no issues with this canvas. But before I end the video, uh, let's take a little closer look. interested in purchasing this painting for yourself I will link all of the information on it down below I believe it is available on Diamond Art Club site right now um I can't say for sure but once I link it I will know but um I don't know right now uh this is one of my favorite canvases highly 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 recommend um I know it is expensive but if you have points if you have coupon codes um it'll hike that price down a little bit and make it a little more manageable for people on a budget. Uh, this is not a painting really though that you can get on a budget. And I know that a lot of people like the budget friendly diamond paintings. And I know not a lot of people are huge fans of large diamond paintings. This was a project. Um, for a lot of people, this could take like months and months because I don't do anything else but diamond paint. It took me only a month to do but if I was doing other things if I had other hobbies <laughs> if I had a life <laughs> this would uh this would have taken me a long time um especially with the amount of detail um but again everything that I say here is strictly my opinion um you are in no way obligated to uh <laughs> to purchase anything that I review and I'm not even affiliated with Diamond Art Club so <laughs> um all opinions are my own anyway but I hope you all enjoyed today's post review. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this. Um, I would love if you could join our little growing family. I, it's so amazing that we're almost 500 subscribers. It's unbelievable. Um, so please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We have a lot of fun here. Um, and please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on this kit. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it too big? Is it not big enough? Um, <laughs> Like, let me know what you think of it. I just, I love it so much. Um, but anyway, I think that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I got more diamond paintings to finish <laughs> before drills and chills. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!